Okay. This is a stand-up bag here. Jane's going to strike the bag with her bottom portion of her foot. These are called sidekicks. Now notice she's on her elbow. Now, during this movement here, I do this a lot in my adult classes for muscle tone, but it's also a very good exercise because you're really working those hamstrings, the glute medius, the glute maximus, the abdominals are working because it does require a degree of balance. Okay, time, stop. You want to see the progress from the last video? Yes. <laughs> I'm having her slow the pace down. If you're working with someone on rehabilitation, have them slow the process down because now you're focusing more on strengthening the legs, the hamstrings, the glutes, even getting into the calves, the back muscles, the abdominals. Now go fast, Jane, again. Go fast. Now as she's going fast, this exercise, the tempo of it is more for weight loss and muscle tonus. Keep that leg up. There you go. All right, time good. Okay, now we'll do the opposite leg for body. Got her buttocks elevated off the floor. This really works those glutes. These muscles back here are firing pretty heavily right now on those glutes. The hamstrings are working. Also, the arms and shoulders are getting to work out because she's having to leverage her body up. Slow down there, Jane, a real lot, quite a bit. Once again, working for rehab, slow the pace down. Speed up. Working for muscle tonus, weight loss, speed up the tempo. Okay, time, good. Okay, now the next exercise Jane's going to do is called a bicycle kick. She's going to strike the bag with the heel of the foot, single leg at a time, on the elbow, hips off the ground, knee touching the ground. This does require some balance, but it will strengthen the abdominals because the patient or client, hips are off the ground, they're going to make these muscles fire down here, the, the rectus abdominis, the transverse abdominis, the deep abdominal wall, uh, getting into some of the obliques. So we'll start doing the movement. As she's doing the exercise, you can see it requires a pretty large degree of balance. Those hamstrings are going to fire quite a bit on this, and believe it or not, a lot of people when they do this, they tell me that where they feel it the most is the support side down here because you're just having to stabilize your body. And with the kinetic bands on, it's really accentuating the movement and loading the body. This is a pretty good exercise for burning the rear end. Do it real slow. Once again, going for rehab, do it slow. Going for strength or weight loss, speed up. Now she goes a little faster. Okay, time, good. Now she's working the opposite side now. As you can see here, those muscles are firing pretty good. Notice she brings the knee to the chest like she's riding a bicycle, a circular motion. Those bands are loading her pretty good. Eccentric, concentric loading. Acceleration, deceleration. Opposite side, there you go. This is called a sprinter sit up. Now, as the client or patient is doing this, you want to make sure the back shoulder never touches the floor and uh, the moving leg foot never touches the ground either because it places more tension on the midsection. This is a pretty good exercise for the rectus abdominis. You're getting the lower abdominals involved in it. You're getting the hip flexors involved in it. Okay, the chain sides, Jane. I'm going to have her change the tempo here. I want you to come up and pause it. Go down slow. Come up, pause. Go down slow. Come up, pause. Go down slow. Once again, if you're training for more strength and rehabilitation, good way to do it. If you're training for more uh, muscle loss, uh, muscle tone, weight loss, go speed up. Good. That's the way you want to do it. Okay, good. Time. Okay, let's do bicycles real quick. Sit up. Sit up. These are called bicycles. Alternating right and left legs, turning and twisting, getting the transverse plane oblique muscles involved. 
Good stabilization exercise also because the only thing touching is your rear end, your buttocks. So it does require a degree of balance on this. Get those deep stabilizer muscles, those deep abdominal wall muscles. Good time, good. Okay? These are called 10 soldiers. This is a standing abdominal exercise. 10 soldier crunch, I should say. Now we did 10 soldiers earlier, now we're doing a 10 soldier crunch. Now she's bending at the waist. You talk about a good back exercise, working the glutes, working the hands, working on deceleration, working the abdominals. This is a total body core developmental exercise. It works practically every muscle in your body, from your shoulders all the way down to your calves. But we're really targeting the abdominals here. Okay, time, stop. Okay, now I said you go without. I go without the dumbbell. Not as much of a load, but still effective exercise. And as you're doing this, you want to keep the arms glued to the head. That's the key. You don't want to swing the arms. You want to isolate those abdominals. It works the spinal muscles. The longitudinal spinal muscles up and down the spine here. Okay, time to get it. She's going to do 10 soldier crunches with two dumbbells. Place a little bit more load on the spine, on the muscles around the spine, on the abdominals. Once again, working on deceleration, body control. Good total body exercise. And with those bands attached, it's really loading the hip flexors, making those low abdominals work. Because you're bending at the waist, you're getting some upper abdominals in there. Some spinal flexion, some hip flexion. Okay, time. Very good.